Young Writers, this is Mom May. Welcome to our creative writing class. Our topic today is taken from Quarter 3, Module 1, Lesson 2. So let's get started. Do you know what are these? Yes, you're right. These are different human senses. But don't you know? Writers want their readers engaged to their literary pieces through the use of words that create images. Like for instance, what sense is the author appealing to in this sentence? Juicy fried chicken is a must in my birthday celebration next week. What sense is the author appealing to in this sentence? John swept the scattered dried leaves in our small backyard. What sense is the author appealing to in this sentence? The cinema was filled with loud scream of the horrified moviegoers. What sense is the author appealing to in this sentence? Annie's rosy perfume triggered her friend's allergies. What sense is the author appealing to in this sentence? The small girl cuddled the soft and fluffy teddy bear that I donated. Those examples use sensory imagery. Sensory imagery is defined as a literary device that writers employ to engage a reader's mind on multiple levels. Sensory imagery explores the five human senses sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. Here are the different types of sensory imagery. 1. Visual imagery. This appeals to the sense of sight. Readers can visualize the appearance of person, animal, object, place, or a phenomenon. Here are the examples of visual imagery. I get mesmerized by campfires. The orange and red flames seem to sing and dance for me. The razor-sharp teeth of the huge dinosaur, now inches from me, made me want to be a dentist. Another type of sensory imagery is gustatory imagery. This appeals to the sense of taste. Readers can imagine the tastes of food present in poems and stories. Now, let's take a look at the examples of gustatory imagery. Too thirsty to drink just tap water, we gulped glasses of tart sweet and lemony lemonade. The whole grain waffle has a sweet and nutty taste. Another type of sensory imagery is tactile imagery. This appeals to the sense of touch. This type of imagery also describes feeling. These are the examples of tactile imagery. I love soft, chilly raindrops on a hot summer day. I accidentally threw the lid of the casserole on the floor because it is hot. Our fourth type of sensory imagery is the auditory imagery. This appeals to the sense of hearing. It allows the readers to experience the scenes and involvement of sounds. So now, Let's take a look at the examples of auditory imagery. I love putting my head inside a church bell. Its clings and clangs are soothing to my soul. 
raindrops, first ping and then clang on the metal roof when a storm approaches. Fifth type of sensory imagery is the olfactory imagery. This appeals to the sense of smell. Readers can imagine the scents present in the scenes or events. The examples of olfactory imagery are In the garden, the scent of roses kisses the air and squelches the acrid aroma of my neighbor's musty, funky, and gassy body odor. At the farm, the fresh scent of rain mingles with earthy smell of the damp soil. And now, let's try this. Name the type of imagery used in the sentences. The softness of the rose petals contrasted intensely with the sharp stab of the thorns. Number two, the owls hooting, the frogs croaking, and the sounds of nocturnal creatures rummaging in the woods made me want to abandon the campsite. Number three, the sweet, early aroma of fresh herbs and baking bread beckoned me into the kitchen. Number four, the sapling with delicate green leaves grew in a small ledge on the white limestone cliff. Number five, the sweet yet tart taste of the apple juice flooded his mouth. Have your pen and papers ready. Together, we shall do the activity and discover your creativity. Identify the sensory imagery type used in the following sentences. Number one, he could hear his world crashing down when he heard the news about her. Number two, for a brief second, a spike of lightning illuminated the dark purple clouds. Number three, the sharp aroma of pork adobo filled the early morning air. Number four, as I carefully swallowed each delicious bite, I savored the rich and creamy chocolate bar. Number five, the wool jacket felt prickly against my fingers. Let's try this together. Look at the given picture. Write a single paragraph using different types of sensory imagery. Your single paragraph output will be rated using the following rubric. That's it for today. Once again, this is Mom May saying a creative mind is what makes a creative writer. I'll catch up with you guys on our next lesson.